Introduction Rhea is fond of ice cream. She takes out the ice cream from the deep freezer of the refrigerator, but to her surprise, ice cream is floating like liquid. Her mother says that there was an interruption to the power supply for five hours. So the ice cream melted. Now can Rhea recover the ice cream in original solid form? The answer is yes. Let us know how. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define change, explain physical changes, give examples of physical changes. We observe many changes. Some examples of changes in our daily life are cooking of food, rusting of iron, melting of ice. Change is a process in which the properties like state, color, shape, size, chemical composition and structure of a substance is altered. Types of changes. Changes are of two types, physical change and chemical change. In this module, you will study the physical changes. When there is a change in properties such as shape, size, color and state of a substance, it is called physical change. Example of physical change are melting of ice, vaporization of water, dissolution of sugar or salt in water. Take a piece of paper. Fold it to make a paper aeroplane. There is a change in its size. But we can unfold this piece of paper back to its original size shape. So, it is a reversible change. Also, in this process, chemical composition of the paper remains same. Children, on heating, ice changes into water. When this water is heated to 100 degrees Celsius, it changes to vapors. These vapors on cooling change to water. And when this water is cooled up to zero degrees Celsius, it converts to ice. So, in the whole process, water changes only the state and chemical composition of water remains same. Let us take crystals of cobalt chloride, which are pink in color. On heating, these crystals change to blue. When some drops of water are poured on blue crystals, they regain their pink color. Children, cut a piece of cloth in four square pieces. Now compare the size of one piece of cloth with original piece of cloth. But the properties of the cloth remain same. So this is a physical change. Children, as you know, salt can be obtained by the evaporation of sea water. But the salt obtained in this manner is not pure. Pure crystals of salt can be obtained by crystallization. To prepare pure crystals of copper sulfate, take about 100 milliliter water in a beaker. Acidify the water with few drops of dilute sulfuric acid. Now heat the water. When it starts boiling, add copper sulfate powder slowly with continuous stirring till a saturated solution is obtained. Filter the solution. Allow it to cool. After some time, you will see blue colored shining crystals of copper sulfate in the solution. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The process in which there is a change in state, color, shape, size, chemical composition and structure of a substance is called change. A change in which a substance undergoes a change in its physical properties only is called physical change. Physical change is temporary and reversible. Chemical composition of substances remains the same in this change. The process of obtaining pure compound from its solution is called crystallization.